Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the most requested video by you all and this one is one stroke painting tutorial. I am going to show you how to paint simple yet most beautiful one stroke leaves with the help of my guidance. First, we need angle brush. This is how angle brush looks like and if you don't have it, either purchase or you can just convert your flat brush into angle one. I'll definitely make another video on it but if possible, try and get angle brush of any brand. Then you need acrylic colors. I'm using Montmartre and Mona Lisa brand at the moment but you can give a try to any brand that is available in your nearby market. Floating medium is very very important but at the same time it's optional. If you don't have it, you can use water instead of floating medium because water is the natural floating medium. But if you can get this one, then it would be really great experience. Now let me show you how to hold the brush. Before you start one stroke paintings, get yourself comfortable with the brush. So this way you hold the brush and do little practice with it. When you do this kind of practice without the color, you get more confident with the colors as well. Because sometimes people's hands start shaking when they actually use the color and grab it. So just do some free movements without the color and just imagine that you are painting and get yourself comfortable with it. Once you are ready, next is paper. This is pastel paper just like sketchbook or watercolor. I will attach link to this one as well in the description box below. You can also paint on simple sketchbook paper just like I have done and cut them in different sizes whatever you want and make beautiful cards out of it. To begin with, we will take floating medium on the color palette and Grab the brush, dip it in water and tap on tissue paper to get rid of excess water. Now, load this medium in the brush really well with the technique I'm showing you. This is very important step guys because your strokes will look perfect only if you load your brush with colors really well. So that is the tip number one. Give it a good amount of time and floating medium will actually help your brush to move smoothly on the paper. To understand its importance, try to do it with and without floating medium and see the difference by yourself. Once brush is loaded with floating medium, it's time for colors. So take green and white color and dip your brush like this to create two shades in your leaves. You can also use yellow color instead of white. Move your brush back and forth to load these colors. Be very patient with this process and do it as many times as possible to give your strokes perfect look. Keep repeating this process unless and until you are satisfied. Once it's done, place the brush on the paper like this and move it slightly in up and down direction just like this. Apply good amount of pressure and repeat the loading process. You will have to do this many times to get a good result. Now do the same thing on the opposite side. If you are not happy with the result, just repeat the steps. I usually repeat the steps to get really nice shading. And I have to do it like more than once to be very honest. Apply pressure whenever required but at the same time be gentle with your brush. Similarly, let's tie folded one. Like I said, if you're not happy with the result, just repeat the stroke. Paint the same stroke parallelly to give flipped leaf effect. 
This one is quite simple and fun. Now there comes next one. This one is quite simple and fun. I love these strokes and I keep making these in most of my videos. Once you watch this tutorial, go back and watch my short videos for one stroke and see what technique I have applied in different places and observe it carefully. Now let's do full leaf with flipped corner. You can try as many shapes as you want with this idea and keep doing the practice to get better at it. Place the brush on one edge and just move the top of it and slide it down. This needs little bit of practice but it's not that difficult. Have fun while you practice these because then only you will enjoy the process and you will be creative with it. Trust me, one stroke painting is really fun but at the same time addictive. Once you start it, it's really hard to get out of that phase. Now again flip the leaf, just place the brush on the paper and slide it and put more pressure in the middle and slightly release the pressure. Repeat the same process parallelly to give flipped leaf look. There we go. As I said you can repeat these strokes too if you are not satisfied with the shades you have got. Let's paint unflipped large leaf. Apply the same process to draw large leaf. Oops, other video got out of the frame, but it's the same way you paint right side. Just paint on the left side as well. Sometimes you just need to apply pressure in one direction and slide the brush in a gentle manner. That's it guys, I hope you liked this tutorial and it was helpful. If you do, then one like and comment would really help me to grow and that means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.